what is happening y'all welcome on back to more final fantasy 16. so even though we do have this quest i decided i'm gonna hold off for now um you know i've been doing them all but i don't think it's gonna disappear and i'd rather wait until i have like four or five quests and we could do like another episode focused on banging a bunch out so instead let's continue along our way where's gav Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So? You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Time for some terrorist activities! Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however. And nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. <laughs> little, little slow to the party there. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Though, which one are we going for exactly? Is this the, the Iron People's area? Well, that looks like a bounty target board if I've ever seen one. And then Otto's counter is now open. Rare to loot, maybe? I love rare to loot. And then reports Patreon's Whisper Hunt board. All three are located near Otto in the mess. for indeed see this is why I didn't do that quest yet because now we got one right there we got stuff over there let's go check out all this stuff I have a feeling that we just unlocked like uh, 
This is probably meant to be like a hub thing, so we probably have like side quest hunts and then something else. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board? It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they... Right. The people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. Then perhaps I can. So I already killed the Araman, the Angel of Death, and then Belphegor. I don't see a way to pin these, so I'm going to just make a little note here. Let's see, Broken Hilt, Rosaria, and the other one was Fairview, Shandrik. Okay. What services do you offer? You're the state of the realm. How may I help you today? Speaking of Vivian in the hideaway, you can view the state of the realm and learn about the current going on. So revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at those relationships of those in Clive's orbit. I have oh, the details here. That's kind of cool. Detailed visualization of character relationships. You can cycle through pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Duchess. This bitch. This is kind of cool. Former Duchess. So I can see how people were coming into play as time went on. Another worldly being that Clive encountered in the inner sanctum of Drake's head, he addressed Clive as mythos or attempting to merge their consciousness. However, Clive was able to summon the bull to resist the creature before Joshua returned from the dead to imprison it in a cage of flame that he sealed away in his own heart. Yeah, definitely final boss right there. This is so damn cool. I love how how much they've you given us to, to like lore and stuff. And this is the same thing, but on the map. Rick's Breath, Iron Kingdom. The Night of Flames happened over there. Seized by Sambreek. Let me win over here. Okay, so the hideaway was here in a cave. And now it's just over here in some water. Good. Man, they really have done a ton to be like, you know, you're not getting lost at all. We're making sure you know everything that's going on. Oh, Clive. What? The patrons whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh, no. That's still me. It's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Doing side quests earn Clive's renown, inspiring nameless benefactors to donate money and items. Okay. 400 ability points, hell yeah. Berserker ring, and I think it's cumulative. I don't think I spend it. I think it's just... You earned this. 
Yeah, okay, dope. So I just check in here at certain thresholds. So 45, I get some meteorite. 85, I get a berserker ring. What about you? Clive. Here you go. The white winged wonder and the one that's here. Can help. Okay, so basically, as long as I do quests, I get goodies with here. You were gonna tell me all my stuff. You're gonna do hunts. Let's go... Where is that at exactly? I can get there this way. We're gonna go, uh, what do we have on time? 10 minutes? I'm gonna try and bang out these two side quests and these two hunts this episode. And then that way, uh, the next part, we can pick back up heading to Hawk's Cry Cliff and, and doing the whole assault on the next thing. But I will say, I have a feeling I'm probably not getting access to Titan for, <laughs> for quite a while now. I think this, uh, this current chapter, oh, I think, I think we're gonna assault the, uh, they say, was it Drake's Fang? I think we're going to do all that, and then after that, I think we'll have our showdown with Kupka. So I'm probably just rocking my my three current guys for a while. That gives me more time to test Lightning Rod and see if I like it. I do like the, the other Lightning stuff. I might go um just all in on them for a bit, play with them, and see how I'm feeling about them. Because the multi-strike Lightning was pretty cool if the final bolt connected. I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble. I took it on, you see, after she... And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like him. Impressive. I thought this first harvest could... You couldn't take them some, could you? It'll be nice being the bearer of... Oh, sure, here you go. Yeah, just give me the fruit. You hear that, Martel? Today's finally the day. Turn this in, do the other one that was back near Martha, and we'll try to hunt down these hunt targets. I will say when I did that lightning orb and stuff attacked it, it took massive damage. So I think I'd, I might be able to, to use it more defensively, like it's not exactly a counter, but put it between me and a target and just pelt them with magic while I wait for them to swoop down and slap it and then take a big old burst. the girl from the furrows of course she was <laughs> an odd sort that one love plants more than people <laughs> i am brave as a bane might remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when titan attacked wait these aren't those apples are they well i'll be she'd have been proud and rightly so thank you sid from the backyard for your service blimey these take me back I haven't seen a hideaway apple since 
Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Is there a faster way to get over there? I think I might be able to go this way. Let me try. This is like the, f the fetchiest of fetch quests right now. Looks like if I go right past... Okay, there is an opening here. remembered her after all these years I suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me you were one of the good ones Martel why did you have to die she put everything into her work she wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy and now we do when she died I named a sapling after her and now it's a full-grown tree Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? What do you mean it's unavailable? Son of a bitch. He locked me. Locked me in. I guess we have to go to Hawk's Cry. At least until we uh, unlock the map and then I can continue. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. 
so we are going to Iron Home. Okay. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. Bloodlines. All right, well, I don't want to do bloodlines right now. I want to travel away. There we go. Okay. All right. We can save bloodlines for next time. Let's hop over here and bang out this side quest and then try to do a hunt. After what the Empire did to Martha, stay like sharp. Stay. Oi! You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use chocobos? You heard me right. And not just any Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did. Chocobos. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. Well, go on then. The White Winged Wonder. I wonder if this is Ambrosia. There's a good lad. Where can I find I saw him cut across the way over yon. You save White Heart and her flock. You hear me? And don't worry. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I don't know, man. I have a vibe this is Ambrosia. Because we were just when I was looking at that thing, I like briefly looked at our chocobo. You go cause and all it mentioned was that she took a hit and it, it hurt her eye. It didn't mention that her life was lost. For a chocobo. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Yup. Speaking of brave birds. It's either Ambrosia or Ambrosia like has little baby chocobos. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you coronet feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. This, uh... Or better still. How about we hurt you both? Hey man, you wanna die? But don't say I didn't warn you. Judgment Bond!
Yeah, all I had to do was dodge out of the way there. And he hurt himself. I mean, that eye looks damaged. I think that's Ambrosia. Do you know her, boy? That's gone. It couldn't be. Ambrosia. Of a flock. Boy, he, he is it over. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well... I, um... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master <laughs> back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. <laughs> the lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. So do I get a mount? Oh, stay right where you are. Got her a little eye patch. That's funny. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old White Heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. 
You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. I guess Pay me no people mind. don't notice the scar. Uh, anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. I mean, I feel like it's obvious that there was a, a bearer mark burned over, but... You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Bruges' tech. Chocobo unlocked. Yeah, I guess I do get a mount. That's dope. We you know with this faithful steed, hold all three to feel that. Yeah, hold R three on the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. Let's go. Oh look, Jill gets her own too. Big horn, nineteen. All right, well, I'm, I obviously I love the shit out of this thing, but this gives me a chance to test out some shit that I want to. Come over here and hit it. Come on, big horn, let's go. Rod to redemption. Learn enemy to striking three times before it dissipates. Cool. That's what I want to use it for. Instances like that. I get the lockdown, I throw out the lightning rod, wicked wheel into ignition, and it's just like, you know, free damage. Definitely seems like that could be an incredibly strong combo when you strike. Uh, either way, let us take a look at my notes here. Broken Hilt Rosaria. So where the hell is that? Mm-hmm. So, I think when it says Broken Hilt Rosaria, it means like, you know, it's going to say Broken's Hilt here. Uh, so, I'm going to just, we're, we're going to wrap up here because it's going to take me like five minutes to just scroll through all the areas and find the right spot. Okay, well, never mind, there's Broken Hilt. We found Broken Hilt already, it's near East Pool. Uh, Clairview and Sandbreak. Sandbreak, you are... Oh, clear. Wow. Okay, wow. All right, never mind. Let's go. I've <laughs> apparently I have just dummy luck. I was like, it's going to take me a while to figure out where these hunt targets are as I immediately find it with like my first two. We'll bang them out this episode. I know it's going to make it a little longer, but you know, we're we're kind of we're kind of prepping before we uh before we head out. So, I'm okay with getting things done. Assuming this is something I can fight. Already. Can help. It's 
probably at the end of that, uh... Let's go. Faster. I guess as it's at the end of the thing. Yep, you look like our target. Straight home now. What level are you? Belphegor, rank B. You look like a green goblin looking ass. Thirty. Ooh. thing up. Stuff on that placement. I was too far back. That's what we wanted. Other one would be in Sambrik. Um, Clairview. There's two. Uh, where are we going? Well. Actually, you know what, we're gonna, I, th I think it's right out there, but let's wrap things up. As much as I want to fit into this episode, I had a buddy just text me and be like, hey, ready to go to lunch, and he's like waiting for me, so we'll wrap things up here. Uh, we will have more of this coming in the next episode, kick things off with a hunt, and then head on over to the new region, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you then.